The Great Energy Debate Our energy debate will be an incredible event, but I need to study. Our teacher won't tell us which side of the debate we'll be on until the day before it happens, which means we'll have to pre-plan arguments for both sides. The debate will be next Tuesday and will include a discussion about different energy sources. Each team will have a microphone. One team will talk about the benefits of an energy source, and the other team will talk about its drawbacks. We'll have to learn about the environmental consequences related to each resource as well as the costs. We may be asked to debate the future of gasoline as an energy source. If so, I would say that gasoline is made from oil, a fossil fuel. According to geologists, fossil fuels formed over hundreds of millions of years from ancient plant and animal remains. But here's the problem. We use these fuels far faster than it takes them to form. Because fossil fuels are non-renewable resources, if we keep using them, eventually there will be none left. Plus, burning these fuels pollutes the air. It is easy to be hypercritical of fossil fuels. However, most of our cars and factories use this type of fuel, and therefore changing everything would be a huge undertaking. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work or make a change. It also is a source of power for making electricity or doing mechanical work. We use the wind, the sun, fossil fuels, and biofuels to produce energy. Burning coal produces heat energy that is converted into electrical energy. We use that energy to light our houses. Solar energy comes from the sun. Solar panels convert sunlight into electrical energy. If we are asked to debate the use of wind energy, we would have to know that this is a renewable energy source. For example, unlike fossil fuels, wind will never run out. One large wind turbine could produce enough energy for a whole city. In addition, this method doesn't damage the environment. Turbines can be placed all over the world to capture wind energy. Then the energy from the turbines is converted into electrical energy. But there is a drawback. Wind may not be as efficient as other energy sources. Only about 30 or 40 percent of all wind energy is changed into electricity. It would be very expensive to have wind turbines installed all over the world. This debate is important for people in the United States. Our country makes up only about 5% of the entire world's population, yet we consume about 30% of the world's energy. It is not a coincidence that students are asked to take part in these debates. We will probably have to make these decisions when we are adults. The debate will be difficult, but I will be ready.